Welcome to ATO Fantasy Football 2017-2018. I have here oh, yeah. with me Roastmaster Againiga. What's up? What's up? Uh, he's, he's apparently bringing the heat today. And I have on the line Commissioner Goodell Gartenhaus. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we didn't want to look at his face anymore this year, so uh, <laughs> we just have him audio. So we have names that are going into the hat. And they will be drawn out 12 to 1. So, names in. Hold it up. Shake it up. Keep it in the frame. Hey, no, no, no. You didn't touch it. Just shake it. Shake it up. And I'm going to look away and mix it up a little myself. So, we're going random order 12 to 1. And with the 12th pick of the ATO draft, we have... Hold on. Come on, amateur hour, let's go. All right, 12 pick of the ATO draft. Uh, Mark, do you want to read the picks out? Sure, I'll read the names. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Trevor. Trevor Goodell. T. Goodell. 12th like pick. T. Gart. T. Gart told me he's uh, moving to Buffalo, and uh, that's that's quite the upgrade over Marietta. I know, man. You're fucking like, like, you're talking about moving up in the world. You go from one shithole to the other shithole. Congratulations, dude. We're all so happy for you. Dan, Dan Snyder was very sad to hear that, uh, you know, you're, you're really taking your Buffalo fandom to the next step. Yeah, he was. He was sent one Jew to another. I'm really disappointed. So, uh, yeah, he's heartbroken. He told us all. All right, pick number 11. Crackhead. Crackhead. Cameron Crockett. <laughs> Cameron, I know that you said you couldn't draft at 10 o'clock. You made some excuse of you're going to be out of town. The reality was you said to break into the, the local library after 10 o'clock to draft. We know you don't have, you live in your car, you're on wireless. So we're happy we could accommodate you, buddy. I thought I thought he was uh, using Starbucks Wi-Fi from the alley behind the store. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a better upgrade. Yeah. Uh, all right, number 10. Jonke. Jonke. Welcome hey. back. Big Jake, you probably not gonna watch this video. He's gonna text me tomorrow, tonight and say, "Hey, when do I draft?" I saw a memo, uh, and it was it was saying that they wish they could go back in time and have him as the uh, ambassador to Libya instead oh. of uh, Stevens. They thought he would have done he a really good it, job taking he, his place. He would have won. All right, number nine. Swisher Pete. Swisher Pete, welcome <laughs> to the league. Uh, he's taking Mickey's place. Oh, what an upgrade. We're so, we're so, <laughs> so happy that we lost. Yeah, years. CP, your uh, social ability is, is you know, quite quite admired over the last few years. It's our first place. Oh, the Cavaliers. Oh, Kyrie. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, CP's going to involve his uh, his fantasy football plans around the Cavalier season. So yeah. we'll just have to be respectful of his time. Number eight. Let's tell you that. I can't see. Oh, Shields. Shmimashi. Shmimashi. I like that. He's a great up. He, now that I can, that I can get behind. That's a vote of confidence I can get behind. That's a good guy right there. I can't have nothing negative to say about him at all. He was, uh, he was Joe Rock's muse in Florida there for a little bit. So, <laughs> so get, a little get that going for him. All right, number seven. Yep. I think number seven. Cody Pothead. Cody Pothead. Uh, you're, uh, you're the most successful individual out of your class. That's like being the smartest kid in retard school. Yeah, that is. But again, I have nothing to horrible say about him. He's one of my man crushes. I would do disgusting, dirty things to have sex with him. I like him too, even though he's, you know, in retard school. Number six. Number six. Number six. Ugh. Joe Ross. Ugh. Oh, Joe. Marco, what do you have to say about Joe? He's got a little nauseous. I just ate lunch and I had his, I saw his face, his stupid grin, his big ears, and I almost threw up on myself. <laughs> Uh, hey, Joe told me he sells technology, but when I looked into it further, I saw like I haven't, I don't see Boost Mobile still open. So yeah, he's uh, cricketing people. He's like cricket. Where you at? Oh, he moved to cricket. Yeah, cricket. All right. Like well, uh, yeah, Dion is actually gonna draft for him because uh, I think Crockett's got his phone. Somewhere. Hey, hey, I have a dog next to me, and the dog has been neutered, and he has bigger balls than Joe Rob does. Ooh, <laughs> do, do, do. Boom. All right, number five. G2, I don't know who that is. G2, that's Greg. Oh, sexy boy. Greg. Greggy, also man crush, but uh, 
you know, he's already texting me about how him and Megan have like an anniversary or some shit. Not interested. I don't know how he's going to hang out with his side chicks on the same weekend that he's also hanging out with his wife. Yeah. Yeah, the guy on his phone that's named Timothy is actually not Timothy, it's Kimberly. We know, dude, it's cool. All right. Number four. Richie. Richie. Richie, uh, he, he made headlines. Um, did you guys see him on the national news? 